What is up, Dr. Anjapainza here, and my first question for you is how many of you are nervous about the MCAT? You're worried, are you gonna perform like you know you need to perform to get into medical school, or are you gonna fall short? Well, I'm gonna share with you a brief segment from my Total Pre-Med Transformation Coaching Program where I talk about the three biggest obstacles to getting a great score on the MCAT and how you can move past those obstacles to be successful. And if you're not familiar with what my Total Pre-Med Transformation Program is, it's amazing. You should sign up today. Uh, you can click below in the box and get into my program right now. But this program is all about changing pre-med in the sense that far too many of you guys are walking around looking here for advice, looking here for advice, and all the time and all the while, you're always confused, you're always uncertain if you're taking the right actions, and then even when you do get the proper information, it either costs you an arm and a leg in time or in money. So I wanted to stop all that. I wanted to provide an affordable solution where you knew you were getting accurate information and it was organized in a way that made it manageable for you. So that way, anytime something came up, you could find that proper information. That's what the whole pre-med transformation is. You get access to all my pre-med courses and also access to me for questions, for coaching in my program. So it's an amazing program. I advise that you click below to check it out, but check out this snippet from that coaching session to get a little flavor of that and also to improve your MCAT score. So check it out uh, and let me know what you think. Thanks. What are the big issues on MCAT test day, Philip? Um, your nerves, uh, anxiousness, and the uh, uh, actual preparation that you've done prior to it. <laughs> I'll give you partial credit. Stamina is one of them. Yep. It's number two. What's number one? Time. Time. Because these are your three obstacles on test day. We remove our anxiety by doing what, guys? Preparation. Preparation. We also remove our anxiety by taking a good amount of full-length tests our last month or doing a good amount of passages to make ourselves feel prepared and feel good about the test. For stamina, which is where your question comes in, Philip, you should be taking a good amount of full-length tests, actually, or compiled full-length tests, not because you care about the score, but because we want to get used to thinking and holding that focus for four hours, six hours, eight hours, 10 hours. So when we get to test day, we are used to holding our focus for that time length. Does that make sense? Yeah. The other reason we do lots of passages whether they be discrete or they be full lengths is because we want to get used to testing fast because if we can test fast, we eliminate the biggest factor that reduces people's MCAT scores. How many of you guys who have prepared for the MCAT, when you go and you do a passage and you look at the answers, you're like, man, if I just had more time, I could have gotten all those questions right. Right. That's the quandary. They know that you guys are smart. So what they have to do is make the time super humid to force you guys to be that sharp. So it's not what you know, it's what you know quickly. So by taking lots of passages and doing question-based learning and focusing and setting our goal, right? What's our goal for how fast we wanna be? So if a section has 100%, that's how much time they give us, what percentage of the time do we wanna be able to use? 60%. Our goal, we shoot for 60. Why do we shoot for 60? Because where do we land? 70%. We land around 70 to 75% on test day. So by getting and shooting for 60%, we give ourselves a buffer of 10 to 15% to still be 25% too fast for the test. Therefore, we never have to be anxious about time. All right, did you like it, right? The MCAT, I know it's this big, huge beast, guys, that's been you know, it's, it's, it's your dread. It's the thing you worry most about. But I want you guys to know that any student can do well on the MCAT. You just have to understand what your limitations are, what your barriers are, and then find ways to overcome them. And I hope to be the person that can help you overcome those. Like I said, you can check in the box below and get into my total pre-med transformation program. Or if you're just looking for MCAT help, I have an MCAT course that's amazing. And I'm going to give you a special discount on it in the box below. So check it out, guys, and have a wonderful day. As always, guys, no excuses, just dominate. You can do it.